All right, so our next type of acids are known as oxy acids. So we're going to have some kind of hydrogens, or really H pluses, and then we're going to have some kind of polyatomic ion that, of course, contains um, oxygen because it's called an oxy acid. So an example of this would be HNO3. That's an example of an oxy acid. And the reason that there's one H is because if we think about nitrate, the um, polyatomic ion, it has a charge of negative one. Hydrogen, of course, has a charge of plus one. So to balance it out, it's HNO3. All right. So the way the naming goes here, it's a little bit confusing. We have ite ions, nitrite, phosphite, that kind of thing. And then we have eight ions, uh, nitrate, um, phosphate, sulfate, that kind of thing. And so with the um, ite ions, it goes the base name of the oxy acid or the oxy anion. We, the ite becomes an us, O-U-S, and then we add acid in the end. So for example, HNO2, if you think about NO2 minus, that's nitrite. So the ite is going to become an us, and so this will become nitrous acid. On the other hand, with the eight ions, you get the base name of the oxy anion. And then the eight becomes an ick, and then the word acid gets ad added in. So for example, HNO3, NO3 minus is nitrate. So this would become nitric acid. Let's take a look at some other examples, and these are pretty much the only examples we'll use. Um, SO3, 2 minus. If you think about how many hydrogens that would have, that has a uh, 2 minus charge, that'd be H2SO3, right? So we have H2SO3. And of course, we could also have H2SO4. If we think about the SO3, that's sulfite. If we think about the SO4, that's sulfate. So the ite becomes an us, but with sulfur, it's a little bit weirder with these um, sulfate and sulfite, we add a little bit extra. So this becomes sulfurous acid. So note here that we add an extra UR, I think it's just to help uh, make it sound nicer. And same on the other side, this is sulfuric acid. A very common acid, maybe you've heard of it. Again, we had that UR. Um, similar for our uh, phosphorus based oxy anions and acids. So we have H3PO3 and H3PO4. This one over here would change to phosphorus acid. So it gets an OR added to it. And then the H3PO4 would switch to phosphoric acid, right? And the IC and the eight, or the IC and the US comes from the eight and the ite, right? Again, uh, I know there's a lot of information, but it really, it's just some practice. And once you get used to it, it's not too bad.